So you just bought Universe Sandbox, and you want to make a habitable planet. In this video, I'm going to show you how. So start by starting a new empty simulation, and you're going to want a star. So you come and click add, and then come over to the stars. You could use a star that's already known, like you could use the sun, or you could use, if you want, you could use Beetlejuice, it's really big. But I like to just take a random known star and keep going until I get one that's good for life. You want one that's similar to the sun in color and size. See, here's this one. The mass is the same as the sun. And the radius is about the sun. So that's going to be good for making life. So then once you have your star, you're going to want to click view and then click this habitable icon and it'll show you the green area is where you want to put a planet with life because it's where liquid water can exist so then once you've done that you're going to click add again and then come over here to planets and then you're going to click random rocky planet you're going to just put it anywhere in the green and then double click on it you can zoom in and then right click so this planet's not very big. You can compare it to Earth. It's about 75% of Earth. You can change it. So, like, if I wanted mine twice the size of Earth, you click 2 and then enter, and there you go. It's twice the size of Earth. The radius, too, it's about the same radius as Earth, so that means it's denser because it's more iron than Earth. But that doesn't really matter. So, you can start by changing the colors on it, so you can come to Overview. And you scroll down till you get to this appearance tab and you can change the different colors so if I wanted my planet to be red you would change the slider to red and choose what shade of red and then boom you have red there and you can change make it different colors for different elevations make it really strange but and yeah you can make it really weird like I can make this one yellow and yep so okay after you've done that and you have your colors you want to come get an atmosphere so you come over to surface and you scroll down and it has a little bit of an atmosphere already so we can compare it it's about we want to look at the radius so since it's like twice the mass of earth we're going to need our atmosphere mass to be like double earth and then your surface pressure this it'll change what your atmosphere mass is so you just want to make sure it's going to be in the liquid water area so you can mess with that and then you come into composition and add some water start clicking it and see the whiteness that's going to be ice so you can come up here to surface at the top average app and you can change the average surface temperature make it about 30 degrees celsius that's good for water and then can add more water see now we got some water on here okay so now that you have some water on your planet you can check the life rate you come into composition and scroll all the way down and you get here earth similarity is 84 percent and the life likelihood is 31 percent we can get it a lot higher than 31%. Uh, one of the ways is making sure your atmosphere is the right pressure. Usually you want it around one bar, but you want to keep the atmosphere big enough to keep the planet warm. And then once you've done that, check again. It's a little bit higher. Uh, you can also adjust the orbital settings. So you come in here to motion and you want the you want the rotational period to be about one day. And this will make it turn faster so one side doesn't burn up while the other side's cooling off a ton. And you also want this orbital period to be around a year like Earth. And see if we look, it's gone up substantially. It's 59% now. If you want to make the life likelihood percent higher, you want to make it as similar to Earth as possible. So if we adjust 
the mass to only one earth bring it down to one earth and the radius we want the composition earth has more silicate so we're going to add some more silicate and get this radius as close to earth as we can okay that's pretty close 92 percent the radius of earth and then we check it and it's gone up again 61 percent uh, we could adjust the atmosphere to get it around earth and it's gone up again see now we're at 92 percent this is like about as high as you can get so if you want a really high life likelihood, you gotta make it as similar to Earth as possible. Getting the right amount of water and surface pressure, making sure it's orbiting the star in the right spot. So that's how to make a habitable planet in Universe Sandbox 2. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and have a good day.